Connecticut's number one local news. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News. First at noon, developing news in West Hartford. Thanks for joining us for Eyewitness News. I'm Kara Sundlin. A West Hartford police officer shot and killed someone during an investigation. And now we're trying to figure out what happened and why this officer opened fire. Pinpoint News Tracker shows you exactly where it began. All on New Britain Avenue, right near Park Avenue. That part of the road has been closed down since this shooting yesterday at 5 p.m. Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief Aya Galal is there live with what she's learned. Aya. Hi, Kara. Yeah, and the new information right now is that New Park Avenue has reopened to traffic. So you can see behind me, traffic is moving along. This is a pretty busy roadway. But uh, that police investigation started around 5 p.m. last night. Officers have since taken down the crime scene tape. But we do want to show you some video of what that uh, scene looked like amid the investigation. Now, the scene was intense with multiple different car crashes. An eyewitness at the scene told us that this all started over someone trying to steal a car here Tuesday night, but police have not confirmed that's what started everything. We do know a West Hartford police officer shot someone and the person died from their injuries. First responders did perform CPR until the person was taken to the hospital. Police have not yet identified the person who died. We spoke with an eyewitness this morning who works very close to where everything happened, and here's what he had to say. I got a bird's eye view of everything that happens. So when I heard the commotion, I come out, I look, and I see a car just running through everything, running over a stack of tires, almost hit the police officer, and then the car is swerving. And we know that a West Hartford police officer was hospitalized, but is expected to be okay. Now, as for the investigation, that's in the hands of the Office of the Inspector General, as well as Connecticut State Police. We are hoping to hear an update at some point today. As soon as we have any new information or any new developments, we'll bring them to you both on air and on the Channel 3 app. For now, live in West Hartford, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.